Hey guys, this is Smokey Cat, and I'm just going to show you how to trade in your triangles for rewards. Now, if we take a look at uh, my War Factory, you see there's a sort of upside down triangle that has the number 900. Now, how do I get that? Well, when you're in your alliance and uh, you go to your little speech bubble here, people will be asking for little war triangles. And right now, if we look at my gifts, I've got all these triangles for helping all the people in my alliance. And that's only in your alliance only. The other thing is that when you click on strike force rewards or gold purchases or anything like that, you tap them and they give you 50 advanced materials uh, or uh, triangles, I call them, but they are called advanced materials and you'll get 50 for every one of those box you open from your members in your alliance. I highly recommend being in an alliance because you can level up a lot faster. So, we'll go back to my war factory. This is Ghost Cat, my second account. And uh, I'm going to click on this last reward. You have the options to turn in your triangles for uh, you know, War Factory components for Elite Caches, which you get three items uh, for Guard Tower Rockets, or sometimes there's a uh, the uh, Patriot Missiles are there. You can get a component cache where you can get some uh, War Factory components, but when I've clicked on that, I've only gotten like three or four. Uh, really not worth it. So the best thing to do is to save up advanced components up to the, the 900 mark, and here you can get a, a one of three things. You can get a, a level 10 stealth generator, which usually takes, if you see here, usually takes 14 of each of your War Factory components, which are, if you don't battle a lot, getting a stealth generator it can be expensive. Now, I don't have even the little blue uh, circles to even get a stealth generator. So I usually save up my triangles. And the triangles or the uh, advanced materials are easy to get. They get, come from your uh, your alliance guys and uh, I'm going to click on this reward so you can get the uh, stealth generator, you can get the air med drone hive or and that's a level 6 air med drone hive or you can get a level 3 ion cannon. For you small HQ members you can get access to these high level war factory buildings by saving up your triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. Uh, this is my 900 triangles. It goes right into my war factory and we'll take a look at what I have there. So I've already built up a uh, level 7 ion cannon but this is my level 6 uh, air med drone hive which really helps in repairing your base uh, when you're under attack. Uh, and I don't have any other components there. So uh, the War Factory uh, triangles, or the advanced materials as we call them, are only available to HQ7s. So I'm going to go and uh, switch to uh, one of my accounts that does not have a War Factory. Okay, so here we are at Smoky Cat 5, and you can look around my base. I have nothing, no uh, War Factory. And if we go to try to build one, and get over here to operations. War factory level seven HQ required. Right now I'm HQ six, so I'm gonna get some help from Smoky Cat, or excuse me, from Ghost Cat, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and build it, and then use 57 gold to rush it, and rush it again so you can see here that the war factory when you unlock uh, HQ7 you can get access to your uh, war factory use it and get your components in quick match or the tri or the triangles or advanced materials this will give me a few few things but the war factory is the most important And now it says, hey, we want you to build a war factory. And we're 
we're going to go ahead and put it right here and build it. It's going to take three hours. I'm going to speed, speed that up. Congratulations, you now have a war factory. Create new combat buildings and boosts. And you click on here and it goes through a thing that wants you to create a free stealth generator. So we build that, it takes three seconds. And now we click on the war factory and that component gets loaded into the war factory and we want to go check it out. And this lasts for five days, this stealth generator. And this is one of the things you can build with your, your triangles. And I'm going to, it really wants me to build it and put it somewhere. You can actually save it uh, if you want to. You can wait until you are in a strong battle and you can save it until you want to. The, the little uh, helper thing will, will go away. So uh, it's up to you whether you use it now or later. I'm actually going to save it because I don't really need it right now. So how do you do that? It wants you to load something. Okay, so the stealth generator, it wants you to bring the stealth generator and build something. Well, actually you don't have to do that. You can actually use something else in your war factory to build. So like if I were to take this and put it on this here, and uh, now the request to, to build your stealth factory has gone away because you did use something from the war factory. But now, even though I did not have the war factory, it still was collecting advanced materials. So I could put out a request to all my other alliance members. All right, I'm going to switch back to Ghost Cat. So here we are back at Ghost Cat. And of the th three things that you can build at from the War Factory Triangles or Advanced Materials. Let's go ahead and go and get our Aramid Drone Hive and we are going to build that. Good idea is to take your Drone Hive and put it inside your s Stealth Generator somewhere. There we go. And so now I've got two of the components that you can build with the uh, with the triangles. So you have the level 10 stealth generator, the level 6 drone hive, and on my base I have an ion cannon that I built with my war factory and so it's the uh, uh, level 6 ion cannon. But you will, if you build up and get the ion cannon, it will get the uh, level th 3 ion cannon. Now that I've turned in my 900 triangles, my collect shows that uh, I can collect them again they expire and uh, you notice earlier that when we when we used one of the uh, crates to start uh, strike force we uh, used the crate it gave me 50 triangles but since I had not used them we can see that they did not collect in here so it's always a good idea to use up your 900 triangles so that you can get your 50 triangles for every one of those star force crates so I'm gonna go ahead and collect these that I've been sort of saving because I want to show you all how to use the uh, triangles to your advantage. And there we go. Now, if I click on my War Factory, I've got 15 triangles. 15 out of 900. We got a long way to go, but uh, you keep on need to keep on requesting them from your alliance. And uh, also, when they ask for for uh, help with your their advanced materials or their triangles. When you click on them, you get one for every one that you help your alliance members. So keep on doing it. Keep on clicking. So there you have it. Build up your triangles. Get great War Factory uh, bonuses. And uh, keep on attacking. And have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe. See ya.